The Lion, the Donkey, and the Fox A lion, a donkey, and a fox were hunting in company and caught a large quantity of game. The donkey was asked to divide the spoil. This he did very fairly, giving each an equal share. The fox was well satisfied but the lion flew into a great rage over it. And with one stroke of his huge paw, he added the donkey to the pile of the slain. Then he turned to the fox. You divide it, he roared angrily. The fox wasted no time in talking. He quickly piled all the game into one great heap. From this, he took a very small portion for himself. Such undesirable bits as the horns and the hooves of a mountain goat and the end of an ox tail. The lion now recovered his good humor entirely. Who taught you to divide so fairly? He asked pleasantly. I learned a lesson from the donkey, replied the fox, carefully edging away. The moral of the story is, learn from the misfortunes of others. The end. The Miser A miser had buried his gold in a secret place in his garden. Every day he went to the spot, dug up the treasure, and counted it piece by piece to make sure it was all there. He had so many trips that a thief who had been observing him guessed what it was the miser had hidden, and one night quietly dug up the treasure and made off with it. When the miser discovered his loss, he was overcome with grief and despair. He groaned and cried and tore his hair. A passerby heard his cries and asked what had happened. My gold, oh my gold, cried the miser wildly. Someone has robbed me. Your gold? There in that hole? Why did you put it there? Why did you not keep it in the house where you could easily get it when you had to buy things? Buy? screamed the miser angrily. Why, I never touched the gold. I couldn't think of spending any of it. The stranger picked up a large stone and threw it into the hole. If that is the case, he said, cover up that stone and it's worth just as much to you as the treasure you lost. The moral of the story is, a possession is worth no more than the use we make of it. The end. The man and the lion. A lion and a man chanced to travel in company through the forest. They soon began to quarrel, for each of them boasted that he and his kind were far superior to the other, both in strength and mind. Now they reached a clearing in the forest, and there stood a statue. It was a representation of Hercules in the act of tearing the jaws off the Nemean lion. See, said the man, that's how strong we are. The king of beasts is like wax in our hands. Ho, oh, laughed the lion. A man made that statue. It would have been quite a different scene had a lion made it. The moral of the story is, it all depends on the point of view and who tells the story. The end.